Hey, welcome everyone. This is Mike from ZozoStockWatch.com and this is going to be your stock watch list for Thursday, the 15th of November. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at what earnings uh, we had come out after the bell tonight. Uh, the main one was Cisco. Don't forget, uh, Walmart reports earnings tomorrow morning. JCPenney, Canadian Solar, CSIQ symbol there. After the bell Thursday night, uh, you have NVIDIA, Applied Materials, Nordstrom, and Sonos. S-O-N-O, -O, William Sonoma down there also. All right, so that's some of your uh, bigger names coming out on uh, Thursday. Let's go ahead and take a look at the heat map. More of the same today uh, in the markets. Um, the Dow Jones was down 206 points. Uh, the NASDAQ composite down 64 and the S&P down 21. Uh, sellers controlled the markets and uh, rallies were uh, basically met with uh, selling. Uh, Apple is now in a bear market. Apple was down almost another uh, 3% uh, for today. So Apple's down, I believe, 20% from the highs. As you can see from our heat map, courtesy of Finviz, uh, we had Amazon down. Uh, we did have some little spots of green. Uh, Facebook was green today. And uh, you can see little traces of green here and there. Uh, Schlumberger uh, was actually up today, SLB. Uh, other than that, not too much green. Home Depot uh, was up a little bit, about half a percent. Uh, let's go ahead and get this uh, out of our way, and we'll go into our uh, sector watch here. So for percent change for today, uh, gold was getting some buying today. Nugget was up uh, over 6% for the day. Uh, the VIX was climbing a little bit. Uh, we have a 21 uh, handle on the uh, VIX now. Uh, JNUG was up 5% for the day. Uh, oil was up 2.2% uh, for the day. Uh, so um, let's see, uh, oil trading at uh, $56.25 was the uh, closing price on a uh, light sweet crude oil. Silver was up a tad. GLD was up a tad. The OIH was up a little bit. The SMH was up about half a percent. To the downside, we had the uh, XBI. Uh, the biotechs were down another 3%. The IBB was down 2% today. Uh, banks took a hit today, down uh, over one and a third percent. Uh, Maxine Waters out with some uh, comments about regulation. Uh, so that took uh, some of the banks uh, further down. Uh, there was a little bit of a pullback here in the XLU, and uh, so, you know, that's good to see uh, when the XLU is moving back down uh, a little bit, shows uh, maybe people are putting a little bit of money to work. Like I said, uh, Facebook, Google uh, were up today, uh, so we'll see how that plays out. Let's go ahead and look at the SPY. We'll just go through uh, one of the... Uh, one of the dailies here on the SPY. So uh, basically now we're still battling around this uh, 270 number that I spoke about. Now we broke down below it. The low today on the uh, SPY was 268.45. The bulls did manage to uh, come in and rally us back up over that 270 uh, for the close. Uh, but, uh, you know, if this breaks and continues to move down, uh, you have to think, you know, we're going to definitely test, uh, you know, these lows of around. 260 and if that happens um I had said that I think uh, we may come back and test the uh, February lows here. So we'll see uh, if that's going to play out. Now, some news could come out uh, during the night and uh, change that whole scenario. So we'll have to see uh, how that plays out. Let's go ahead and look at the uh, SPY on an intraday chart. Uh, we're looking at a, a five-minute pre-post market chart of the SPY. So um, we came out of the uh, gate here. And uh, in the overnight session at around four in the morning, they were gapping us down right before the market opened up. And then uh, in the pre-market at around uh, 4.15 a.m., they started to turn us back up uh, throughout the morning. We were moving up. The CPI numbers came out. Uh, it showed uh, very little inflation, and uh, that got the market moving up. We came up to about this 274.50 area, and then we started uh, selling off for the session with periodic 
bounces in between. Uh, we came down to that 268.50 level. Uh, bulls showed up there and pushed us back up over that 270 level and uh, popped us right up to about 272. Uh, and then uh, we slowly came back down uh, into the close again. And then after in the after hours right now, we're bleeding down uh, more. It is about uh, 7.01 my time, Eastern time. And uh, the futures right now, uh, the Dow futures are uh, down 52 points, the S&P futures down 6, and the NASDAQ futures down about 11. So a little more uh, selling in the uh, futures market uh, happening right now. Uh, let's make this a little bit smaller for you. Let's check some of the news uh, that came out uh, after the bell tonight, courtesy of the Trade Exchange, a really good news service. Uh, we love them. We use it in my service. Uh, we have audio news throughout the day and we have our uh, news box up all day long and uh, we get uh, nice news alerts to get trades off of and keep us uh, in the know as to what is going on so trade exchange the trade exchange uh, as you can see news throughout the day um, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the earnings that came out after the bell uh, NTAP they beat by six cents and revenue was a beat but uh, not helping the stock in the after hours NTAP is trading down. Uh, mixed guidance uh, also on NTAP. So the guidance is probably what's hurting the stock there. Uh, NVCN, earnings per share and revenue miss. NVCN, uh, that stock is moving down also. Uh, little stock uh, KOOL came out with earnings after the bell. They uh, missed by two cents but beat on revenue. Uh, XTNT, earnings per share and revenue miss. Uh, a little under 30 cent stock. Uh, came out with earnings uh let's see they beat by a penny missed on revenue uh, let's see, we had a SRAX reporting earnings after the bell, KGJI, uh, a jeweler, KGJI. Uh, that one is a very low volume stock, but popping up a little bit in the after hours. Uh, CDTI was halted. Uh, they open that stock up. Stock is trading down. Cats, C-A-T-S, uh, had uh, earnings after the bell. They beat by two cents. Beat on revenue, C-A-T-S. Uh, not much action in that one in the after hours. Uh, we had Zsan, a pharma beats by two cents on Zsan. So let's check that out real fast. Uh, not much going on there. Uh, this little stock, uh, Yoga Works, had uh, earnings come out after the bell. Well, let's see if there's anything uh, providing uh, some life here. Not really, not much going on there. And YOGA, uh, Mark, uh, they missed by uh, 11 cents. M-A-R-K, uh, we'll keep scrolling along here. GLPG initiated with a strong buy at Raymond James. GLPG, uh, 157 price target there. Nothing much going on at the moment. Uh, GDOT gets an overweight at uh, Barclays on uh, GDOT. Let's see if there's anything happening on GDOT. Uh, not much on that uh, overweight mention there. Uh, CYTX misses by uh, 35 cents, misses on revenue. Uh, RSLS, earnings per share, uh, looks like they blew it on earnings there. Uh, the API oil numbers uh, came out. Crude oil was a build of uh, plus 8 million barrels on crude oil. Uh, let's see what oil is doing. We have the uh, ETF for light sweet crude oil here. Uh, not much damage right now. Now oil has been down quite a bit. Uh, so oil holding around uh, this USO holding around the 1191 spot uh, for USO. Uh, let's see what else do we have. Uh, BLNK had earnings come out after the bell and DSS missed on revenues also. DSS, uh, that one's selling off. BLNK, which was showing uh, some strength uh, today in the market. Uh, very choppy for that one, but uh, holding up. Uh, in the after hours, BLNK Blink. Uh, let's see, we have uh, some earnings coming out before the bell tomorrow. You can see them listed right there. Uh, we also had some earnings uh, come out uh, later in the evening, we had WUBA. Uh, they beat by 31 cents, beat on revenue. WUBA. 
Uh, so that one is moving up. CRMD uh, misses by five cents, beats on revenue, but that stock moving down. Brazilian uh, airliner uh, CPA misses by nine cents, misses on revenue. Some of your uh, top insider purchases that came out uh, after the bell, uh, you can see them listed here. This once again, courtesy of the trade exchange, uh, HAIN CEO purchased uh, over 45,000 shares at 2208 HAIN. Uh, not stock not doing too much uh, in the after hours. Uh, Jerome Powell, uh, the Fed chairman, is making some comments uh, uh, right now around uh, he's speaking about challenges include how much further to hike uh, and uh, what pace to hike at. Uh, global growth scene a bit of a slowdown in 2018 equity markets one of the of many factors in large economy uh, NTES uh, they beat by 13 cents and beat on revenue NTES uh, so that stock is uh, moving up in the after hours tonight so this news once again courtesy of the trade exchange uh, let's go ahead and uh, get into that watch list uh, real fast so I'm gonna be watching Apple you know Apple's in a bear market uh, if we can get another gap down morning tomorrow uh, we might get a reversal play uh, in Apple uh, we were trading uh, AMD uh, I'm gonna rename my room the AMD trading room because uh, we traded this like three times today uh, AMD uh, the first time I traded it uh, was in the pre-market uh, for a nice move up then the markets uh, opened up we took it over twenty dollars and seven cents and the stock moved up to uh, 2075 and uh, then again it came down to 2007 now I did not get this trade uh, but some of the traders in the room were watching it and they got another bounce in uh, AMD so uh, we'll be watching AMD what I'm doing is looking for any kind of relative strength uh, that's my mo right now for day trading in the markets uh, Amron uh, always watch watching this one uh, very volatile right now but uh, city came out I think with a, a buy rating on it uh, so it was pushed down and then buyers uh, stepped in so I'll be watching Amron it's not a beautiful chart but uh, at least the buyers showed up here uh, at the low so We'll be watching Amron. Uh, Any gave us a nice trade. Now, I thought I was chasing this thing a little bit. Uh, it had come out of halt. It was popping up. And uh, we finally we made a call on this over this break of like 358. And uh, it felt a little chasey. So we did it with low shares. But the stock moved up to uh, 425, like in the blink of an eye. Uh, so we got some money out of ANY. Uh, CVIA uh, had a nice day today. 2.9 million shares. So this one will be on watch tomorrow. Uh, nice close on uh, CVIA. I believe they had earnings. Uh, that was the catalyst there. Uh, like I said, Facebook uh, was green today. So we'll be watching uh, Facebook. Uh, Facebook has been down quite a bit. It's been holding above this 140 area. So Facebook will be on watch tomorrow. Some of these little uh, gold stocks were uh, popping here uh, today. Gold was up. We traded uh, JNUG uh, today. Uh, JNUG went from, uh, we got in this one at uh, $6.40 uh, for the break of $6.45 and uh, it popped up all the way to $6.75. So about $0.30 cents on JNUG uh, intraday for that trade. So I'll be watching gold again uh, tomorrow. Uh, this li this uh, lithium, a recent IPO, very strong uh today uh, held up very well um, intraday though it has some spreads in it it's not an easy one it's a lower volume of stock today it traded about 900,000 shares but I'll have this one on watch uh, LTHN very strong uh, in this market uh, NAK uh, another little uh, gold stock here that I'll be watching under a one dollar name uh, it might pop over this 75 cent area if gold continues to move up uh, NBEV uh, was in the after hours was moving up gave back some of it NBEV uh, so we'll see if this one has any legs for it tomorrow uh, NEM was moving up uh, Newmont Mining was moving up so I'll have this gold stock on watch another little gold stock is this NGD uh, basing under that 90 cents so might be one to watch uh, intraday tomorrow if you like those under one dollar names uh, now this NYNY now they're going to be doing uh, getting gambling 
I believe, up in the uh, Catskills. Uh, so this one popped up. Now, as you can see, only 99,000 shares. So this thing basically trades nothing at all. And this is expanding volume on 99,000 shares. Stock went from about uh, 10 bucks up to $14 today. So I think the party's over for this one. Uh, we'll see. As you can see on the intraday chart, there's not a lot of volume in this thing. So not an easy one to probably trade intraday. And uh, when I looked at it, it was very spready. So I probably won't even trade that one. RRTS. Uh, this one had the insider purchase uh, by the uh, CEO. Uh, so RRTS still holding up okay. 3.4 million shares. If you like these under $1 names, uh, here's the 50 SMA up ahead. The 50 SMA on this is at 73 cents. So it probably needs to get up above that 75 cents level. Now with the market that we're in, we got to keep an eye on the SPXU. When the SPY moves down, this moves up. So keep an eye on uh, one of those inverses. Uh, SYMC, still uh, takeover chatter around this name. So uh, SYMC has been holding up. So I'll keep it on watch. Uh, a little oil stock, TAT, uh, was popping. Very little volume in this thing. Uh, 176,000 shares. Uh, not in love with that one. Tesla, uh, holding up very well lately. Tesla, uh, nice move up. And of course, with the market, the volatility, uh, we'll be playing. Uh, Tivix here and there. So uh, a stock that we uh, traded today was uh, Neo. This one will be on watch. We caught Neo on the break of uh, seven dollars and fifteen cents, and the stock moved up to seven dollars and forty-five cents uh, today. So Neo uh, was showing uh, relative strength. As a matter of fact, on the open it popped up when the spy was moving down. Uh, then it was consolidating uh, while the spy was moving out, uh, down. So this was showing relative strength staying above VWAP uh, we got the break of that 715 spot for the nice push up so that was our trade on uh, NIO all right this is Mike from zozostockwatch.com if you would like to check out my service it's $30 for 30 days uh, you could come try the service it would be down uh, the link is down in the description box have a very good night everybody and um, we'll see you along the way